Thank you, President Rivlin. Thank you for the, the warm welcome um, on your part, on the part of the First Lady. We are honored to be with you today uh, at uh, the home of the President of Israel. And, um, and it is deeply meaningful for me to be able to, to uh, be with you here in Jerusalem, the capital of the State of Israel. Uh, it was my great honor yesterday to be afforded the opportunity to be the first Vice President of the United States to address the Knesset. Uh, and uh, I want to thank you personally uh, for your attendance uh, at my remarks, and I thank you for your gracious uh, words. Uh, let me say that uh, President Trump's decision to recognize Jerusalem as, as Israel's capital, uh, we hope is the clearest sign yet uh, of the unwavering commitment uh, of the United States of America uh, to Israel. Um, uh, as I announced yesterday, Mr. President, um, uh, President Trump has directed our State Department working with Ambassador Friedman uh, to complete uh, the transition of moving our embassy uh, here uh, to Jerusalem by the end of next year. And, and we look forward to that as a tangible sign uh, of, uh, of our enduring uh, commitment and alliance uh, to the state of Israel and to uh, the people of this great nation. Uh, the bond between us, uh, we believe, has never been stronger. Uh, but under President Trump's leadership, we are committed uh, to make it stronger still. Uh, we have ties through, of course, a deep commitment to freedom, a shared values, uh, but also through commerce. The, uh, 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 more than $45 billion in trade takes place between the United States, supporting jobs in our country and yours. And our security collaboration uh, has never been more robust. We stand shoulder to shoulder with you uh, in the battle against radical Islamic terrorism. Uh, and I thank you, Mr. President, uh, for your government's uh, courage, uh, for the courage of your military, uh, and uh, and I, I pledge to you a continued collaboration and cooperation on, on behalf of our mutual security. Uh, we also stand together uh, against the threat of uh, the leading state sponsor of terror, uh, Iran. Uh, and just know that in, in President Trump's recent decision uh, uh, to announce that the waiver that he would sign on sanctions under the Iran nuclear deal would be the last one. We are sending a signal uh, to uh, the, our European allies uh, that the time has come for changes uh, in the Iran nuclear deal that will ensure uh, that the sunset provisions in the deal are completely eliminated and that punitive sanctions uh, will be available um, uh, it, for, for many years to come to prevent Iran from obtaining a nuclear weapon and you have our commitment uh, to work closely with our allies around the world to achieve that. Uh, if our allies will not join us, President Trump has made it clear that we will withdraw from the Iran nuclear deal immediately. But we hope, uh, we hope uh, in the months ahead to be able to strengthen it, uh, to contribute to the security of the region, Israel's security, and the security of American interests as well. All of that said, the President also sent me here to reiterate our nation's deep commitment to peace. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm very moved by your uh, reflections uh, since I first arrived about, about what Jerusalem means to peace and the way that people of the three great faiths of the world here have lived together in harmony for generations. And President Trump uh, truly believes uh, that uh, the decision the United States has made uh, to recognize Jerusalem as the capital of Israel, uh, we believe, will set the table for the opportunity uh, to move forward in meaningful negotiations to achieve a, a lasting peace and end the decades-long conflict that has been set.
we say in, in, the, in Arabic, with God's help, yeah. inshallah. Indeed. And, uh, and so uh, uh, let me thank you again for your uh, warm hospitality. We are grateful for your leadership and for your friendship. Uh, and I look forward uh, to our discussion to explore ways that we can uh, uh, make the ties that bind America and Israel uh, even stronger. Thank we you, just, Mr. President. Thank you so very much.